Um, so firstly, let's start with the overview. So thinking back to this slide that I had up before as far as key features and differentiators for review, I'm really going to use these as talking points. So let's start out with that intuitive interface. What do we mean by that? Um, so firstly, this sort of interface um, for any folks that are coming from uh, design software, it's going to feel uh, pretty familiar in layout. Um, and as I mentioned before, it's not one size fits all. So we have something called profiles, which allows you to set up different custom profiles that are essentially presets for your interface. So I'm currently in the construction profile. If I switch over to, for example, my design review profile, uh, you can see that uh, it, it shifted around. I, I no longer have these tools along the top. Uh, they're now appearing along the side here. Um, I also have, for example, um, let's do my advanced profile, and now I have these tools along the top. Um, but I'm not limited to these out-of-the-box profiles. I can also customize things. I'll right-click here, maybe toggle a few tools on that I like. And let's toggle a few things off that I really don't care about and just get them out of the way. And once I've set it up exactly the way I want, I can save that profile into a custom profile. I'll just call it the Steve profile. And now every time I jump on this computer, those presets are going to be available to me right here. So um, it makes it very easy to set up things exactly the way you want it. Uh, you can have as many profiles as you want. You can also export those profiles out to other users in your organization if you'd like to standardize and get people up and running much faster. So very, very handy. Um, returning back to key differentiators, uh, markups uh, was the next one. So I mentioned before uh, that markups are, are truly easier to do in review than in pen and paper. Um, so to jump into markups, I'm actually going to go back to my construction profile because that's the one I like using. Uh, markups, you can do a variety of ways. They're available here in this top uh, menu right here. Uh, you can also notice that they have letters assigned to them, which are hotkeys. Uh, so this pen tool, I could either select it right there, uh, or I could just hit the P button and, uh, and write that way. Um, I also have them available here on the side uh, for use, and that's the way that I personally like to use them. And you've got all these sort of uh, usual suspects in terms of uh, markup tools. Uh, but then we also have more AEC-specific markup tools. So uh, for example, uh, the cloud tool, if I need to ask a question about this restroom, and uh, I'll just do a little call out and say, uh, is this ADA compliant? So very easy to place these markups. Uh, but I don't really want just all my markups to be red. Uh, that's not very useful for me. Uh, so we've also made it very simple and easy to uh, customize these markups as well. So uh, let's make that uh, cloud a blue cloud, make it transparent so you can see through it, suggest some of the properties. There we go. So I got it just the way I'd like it. If I want this call out to have the same properties, we have a cool little format painter tool. Just hit it with that and uh, make the line straight here, and there we go. So very, very simple to customize these markups. And as you're doing it, you can save them in your tool chest here. So I mentioned before that we don't want to have to keep recreating these tools over and over and over. So you can save them for future use. Um, I'm going to just drag and drop these tools into my tools here for future use. And then any time I pop into review, I can have those accessible to me at any time. And tool sets just like profiles can be exported out to other users. So if you want to have maybe one power user in your organization sit down, create all those markups uh, in, in tool sets, and then just export them out to everyone else in the company and standardize on those, uh, you can absolutely do that very, very easily. Great, so I mentioned um, markups there and how easy they are, they are to customize. We talked a little bit about how to save them in the tool chest. Uh, the markups list is where you're going to track all these markups as you place them. So I like to describe this as almost like an Excel spreadsheet 
It lives right within review and tracks all these markups that you make on there. Um, and like an Excel spreadsheet, you can sort and you can filter. Uh, I can also toggle which columns I want. So if I really don't care about what layer it's on, I can just get that out of the way. Uh, maybe I don't care about color, let's remove that. Uh, but maybe I really want to know um, the area because I'm taking, uh, I'm doing flooring takeoffs, for example. I can toggle that on there. So you can set it up exactly the way you'd like. Uh, you can also set up custom columns uh, with any sort of information uh, you would need as well. And I can also import um, markups from other people. So let's say that um, I wanted to import comments from these other folks. I can import them in there and drop them right on my drawing. And there they are there. I've got those uh, electrical, mechanical, and plumbing comments dropped right on the drawing and right in the markups list. So very, very cool stuff. Um, lastly, Bluebeam Studio. So Bluebeam Studio, uh, in my personal opinion, is one of the, the most powerful features within Review uh, and also one of the most underutilized. There's a lot of people that have been using uh, Review for years that haven't really uh, started to uh, utilize Studio to its full potential, um, but it's an immensely powerful tool. And um, essentially, as I mentioned before, it's accessible right within Review here. So this is Studio right here. It's all hosted on the, the Amazon Cloud. And you can upload all of your various files up there to share with other people. And there's a couple of ways of working with it. Uh, one is with projects. So you can think of projects as sort of like a lightweight document management system where you upload your, uh, your project folders, your various subfolders. Um, and you put them in there and you invite folks to participate in this project. Uh, only one person can be working on it at a time. They have to check it out first. Once I have this checked out, my markup tools unlock. I can place whatever markups I want on there. And when I'm done working on it, I can check it back in with any notes uh, I would like. So here are my notes. And we do have revision tracking. So if you want to see exactly who did what and when and what all these old revisions look like. Uh, we do have a revision history, open previous revisions. You can also restore previous revisions if somebody screwed something up. Um, so really, really cool stuff. And then alternatively, another way of working within Studio is sessions. Sessions is more real-time collaboration. So uh, if, for example, um, you wanted to invite a whole bunch of people uh, onto a, a particular drawing and, and mark them up all together in real time, you could do this in sessions. And essentially, as anyone does anything, uh, you're going to see it uh, right on your screen. We have a running record of exactly who did what and when. Everything is tracked in this markups list. Um, and this is really big for accountability. The only markups that anybody can change are their own. So there's no shenanigans. They can't tinker around with other people's markups. So you can rely on this as a reliable record of exactly who said what and when. And we have this running record. And you can also export this into a report uh, to summarize everything that took place. So immensely powerful tools in Studio. And as I mentioned before, this is something that you can utilize even with people that do not own Bluebeam Review. So very cool stuff. 